Hi there, I'm Ian, I'm a PhD student at Sheffield Hallam University and this is the fifth in a brief series of videos I'm producing to help those of us who are producing extended documents like dissertations or thesis using Microsoft Word. Um, hopefully during the course of the series and in the earlier episodes you'll have picked up some tips and some tricks and ways that we can save time and effort and that's the intention of this episode in particular looking at the way that we number our chapters and sub chapters or sections within chapters. Um, if that's something that you do manually and that's something that certainly I did when I was doing the master's degrees that I did um, it can be quite a time consuming process made only harder if you find at the last minute that you have to take out or put in an additional section and then renumber all the subsequent sections or chapters. So this process will hopefully a automate it to make life easier and then b make it so that if any there are any subsequent amendments um, life is a lot simpler and you will have saved a lot of time. So, as you can see, I'm sticking with, if you saw the earlier episodes, I'm sticking with the crude titling that I've been using. Rather than uh, doing a load of post-production and video editing, I'm going to go for it in one take, fingers crossed. So, we'll see how that goes. Right then, how to number chapters and sections. You will notice that down the left-hand side, I've got the table of... Um, the navigation pane visible so that we can navigate quickly through the thesis. That was done, if you remember, by ensuring that chapter and section headings are done using styles. That's these things up at the ribbon. We'll pop open the style window or pane so we can uh, make any adjustments later. So that particular section is at um, sort of a level uh, down within the hierarchy of uh, the naming convention and I've used heading 4 style in order to format it. At the level above I've actually used heading 3 and if we go to a chapter heading you'll notice that I've used heading 2 at that particular level. The chapter heading I guess is the top level that you'd want for your thesis. You're not going to have a higher level within the hierarchy of your naming and numbering convention. Bear that in mind as we work through because that will be important. Okay, you'll notice that I've put in manually some numbers here. Uh, that's just remembering that this is a very much a draft version to give my supervisors a point of reference when they talk about chapters later on in their feedback. They can talk about chapter 2 or 3 that you need to be able to do this, that and the other. I haven't put the numbers in yet, although I could have done, uh, because I guess things are going to get shifted around an awful lot. If you use the automatic numbering system that we're going to take a look at, moving things around, deleting them, appending new sections will not make any difference. The automatic numbering system will pick that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these uh, manually entered values. Um, there we go, that'll do, we'll just do those first three chapters. So now we've got um, no numbers in whatsoever and we're going to put them in automatically. And that's done from the home tab uh, within the ribbon if you go to multi-level list. You're perhaps already familiar with using bullets and numbers in various uh, word and other word processing and perhaps presentation tools and applications you've used. If you look within here, they're the standard kind of numbering or bulleting um, options. But down here we've got some which pick up styles. The grey text within here is indicating that, for example, at the top level of this numbering system, it will pick up heading 1. At the second level, 1.1, it will pick up heading 2 styles, and so on. You'd get a better sense of how that works if I click on it. Can't do any harm, can it? So, if we take a look there, that chapter heading is now being numbered 1.5. The first level below that in the hierarchy has been leveled one, numbered 1.5.1. That's not exactly as we wanted it. Obviously, at the chapter level heading, you want that to be a single number. At the next level down in the hierarchy, it wants to be, for example, 1.1. 1 
So that's not quite as we would have hoped, as I would have hoped. Um, so let's take a look at what we can do about that. You know, also, you'll notice if you look down the navigation pane, it's done it for the whole of the thesis. So that's a really quick process. One click and it's all completely numbered. Not numbered correctly yet, but let's work on that. So let's go back to our multi-level list. And look, we've got an option down here. Change the list level. So what I want is that. I want the chapter number to have a single digit. So let's click on that. Vava, there we go. So there we can now see that the chapter number is numbered correctly, but the subsections within it aren't yet. But let's take a look at why. That for me now, that text is too big. I wanted a smaller text within that. If we look across at the style, we can see what the multi-level, the change in the multi-level list did. It changed the level to heading one. It changed the style rather to heading one. And I don't want that looking like that. I want that to be smaller text. So I've got a couple of options. I can now go into heading one style and modify it to make it small in the way that I wanted before. And then I would need to go through each of these other chapter headings and change them to style one. Sorry, to heading style one. There is another option though. If we just undo that first of all, and take that back to where it was, we've got an option within the multi-level list to define a new multi-level list. And we can see here, incidentally, you may find that you see that at first. If you click more, that will pop that window out and you get a few extra treats that we're going to need in a moment. So at the moment, we're on level two within the hierarchy. What we actually want is that chapter heading to be level one. So if I click on that, but I don't want it to pick up heading one style. I want it to pick up heading two style. And similarly, we now need to adjust the levels below it in the numbering hierarchy. I want that to pick up heading three style, because that's what I've used, heading two, three, four, and five for my subsections within chapters. And we'll pick that one as heading four style. And the next level down in the numbering hierarchy is going to be heading five style. I don't think I've got any lower than that within the subsections. You do need to be careful. You don't want 1.1.1.1.1, etc. Uh, so keeping it to a certain number of levels is probably wise with the thesis if you can do that. There may be some regulations also in your local policies at your university about what these numbering uh, systems ought to be. So you can see that it's going to pick up that sort of style. It may be, for example, that you are required to produce 1.1, but subsequent sections need to pick up a letter. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. The top level is just going to be that, a number. The next level is going to be number point number. The next level down, if you're required to use a letter, all you need to do is change the number style for that particular level to A, and so on. And now you can see how the numbering system would work. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to change it back to a number so that it maintains that. There's lots of other options you can change in terms of the formatting and how much spacing is used and how much indentation is used. Uh, we'll just leave it as it is for the moment so you get a sense of what's happening. So well, now when I click on OK, hmm, not quite. Uh, the preceding sections or chapters seem to work. So what's happened? Well, take a look over here at styles. I've just made an adjustment in using that multi-level list. That's that heading has now picked up heading three style. If I just change it back to heading two, you'll notice, ba bum that's now got a number. The next level down has got a number point number. And if you look over here in the hierarchy, hopefully we can see that things are now working almost as I want. The final 
piece within this puzzle is that often this is the opening chapter, the introduction, it would perhaps be named normally in a conventional thesis, but I'm going a little bit unconventional, at least until I get the feedback from the supervisors. Um, this would probably be chapter one, and these preceding sections, the abstract forward and, and acknowledgements and so forth, aren't going to have or aren't going to be within the numbering system. So you can start tweaking around your multi-level list but it's probably easier because they're not going to take part in it and you're not going to need to update them. You're not, as I've got to do, I've got to put in some acknowledgements. But because these aren't numbered, there doesn't need to be an adjustment later on in what follows subsequently. So, for example, if I lose that section, I want the next section that will jump up to become 5.8. That will work. In fact, let's try it. Let's go there. If I delete that whole section, you'll notice that the numbering automatically picks it up. The subsequent parts pick that up. I'm just going to do that and pop it back in so I don't forget. So, if we go back to abstract, all I need to do is manually take out that particular automatic numbering and do that for the others and do that for that and lo and behold chapter one now has the correct number its subsections have the correct numbers the sub subsections have the correct numbers subsequent chapters have the right numbers and all is rosy if we go back to the table of contents this at the moment is not picking up those numbers and that's simply because if you've watched the earlier episode on tables of contents when you make changes this needs to be updated so if we update the field there it's now table of contents picked all that up two little automated processes there that just make life so much easier when you're producing an extensive document imagine that you needed to update this manually imagine that you needed to update all the numbers manually imagine that you need to put in or take out sections and how that affects that manual process of renumbering things so i hope you found something a little bit useful within there um, if we go back to our rough guide and there's the my first chapter title all numbered correctly using styles and using multi-level lists if you have any observations, if there are things that I've missed, things that I've said which don't make sense, things that could make that even better, then do please pop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Um, there may be another episode. I'm not sure whether there are other things to cover. <laughs> Just keep tuned. Bye for now.